In this short film, made during an angio, the right coronary artery at left hand will be filled with contrast medium using a heart catheter. Before we start the film, I want to show you the most important result of this examination in advance. You can see a severe narrowing, a stenosis in the midsection of the artery. Now let us take a look at the angio. Let's watch the film again. I will now show you a series of photos taken from the NGO so that you can study the procedure in detail. Here is the first photo. At the upper edge of the picture, you see the heart catheter with its curved end still empty of contrast medium. Now the contrast medium starts to appear. You can see the roughly S-shaped form of the upper section of the artery, marked by contrast medium. This is the most intriguing photo. Why is this? The most important feature is the dark strip marked at the bottom left of the photo. This shows contrast medium in a section far beyond the stenosis. Nothing can yet be seen of the narrowing itself. Despite this, a section of the coronary artery far beyond the stenosis is already filling up. Here for the first time the stenosis circled, appears. This is the same photo. The narrowing can be vaguely recognized due to the descending flow from above, but mainly as a result of the ascending flow from below. Things now become clearer. This stenosis hardly allows a single drop of blood to pass. The stenosis allows practically nothing to pass. It's not the case, as a lay person might assume, that the blood somehow manages to squeeze through the bottleneck and struggles to fill the lower part of the artery. Yet, it is exactly this section beyond the narrowing that is well filled. The blood must come from somewhere. Even if the collaterals the vessels that make a detour around the stenosis are not clearly seen. These photos are proof of their existence and effectivity. This is a perfect illustration of a 90% stenosis. However, this method fails to provide decisive information. It's not possible to show the extensive network of collaterals using the heart catheter. This leads to considerable false interpretations regarding the importance of coronary artery stenosis. In the very small narrowing, a little blood forces its way from above and a little from below. The blood in the stenosis is stagnant. If the narrow passageway is closed completely by a blood clot, a thrombosis, what happens then? Does a heart attack occur, as generally assumed? By no means. The blood is already standing still in the stenosis. A complete closure would have no effect. There is no alteration whatsoever. There can be no better illustration. The blood supply to the heart muscle beyond the stenosis is completely unaffected. The right coronary artery is clearly and powerfully displayed far to the regions of its finest branches. The stenosis does not damage the heart. To familiarize yourself with these invisible collaterals, do take another look at this short film.